Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. We've got some military watches here today. Watch Collection UK 1940s number 79. Yes, we are speeding along. Loving the blue uh, contrast between the matte and this. And this is the British Prisoner of War apparently. And what a lovely watch it is. We've got this very old fashioned looking watch, but we will be getting into it very shortly. And um, British Pal, uh, the United Kingdom 1940s, British pensioners of war at G a German international camp in Trondheim, Norway in 1940. And then we're going action stations, British prisoner of war from the front line. The 155 Lanarkshire Yeomanary Field Regiment Royal Artillery was deployed to India in 1941 to join with the 9th Indian Division. Having moved to Malaya, it became part of the 11th Division and fought in the Battle of Malaya and the Battle of Singapore. Those who were taken prisoner by the Japanese either died in their thousands or somehow survived. Every time I think of Singapore, I think of that, um, you know, that's sorry, my battery's coming up. This bloody phone always runs out of battery. Um, it think, it reminds me of, you know, that, um, oh, what do you call it? The parts of the Caribbean uh, when they go to Singapore. Uh, British Prisoner's Watch of War's Watch. That makes no sense. But anyway, uh, that's what the design is. So it goes through compute graphic. Then it goes into the finished uh, production thing. Watchmaking in China. China has the largest watchmaking industry in the world, making more than 200 watch brands. Well, that's pretty obvious because obviously most of everything we buy comes from China. So, uh... <laughs> Oh yeah, that's nice. The largest Le Coultry Reverso with its reversible dial insert to protect the watch from hard knocks was originally made by polo playing British Army officers in India in 1931. This legendary watch is still made today in many different variations. That is incredible. Um, really, really cool. Then coming up in issue number 80, that is a sexy watch. I'm loving that. I've actually got a watch like that, uh, which is a khaki color. Um, so you see it, um, yeah, I was going to say this watch, but that's not khaki, um, but I have got one like that, if you rewind on my playlist, you might see that, but issue 80, we currently don't have issue 80, and my suppliers are working hard to obtain that, uh, but let's take a look at the watch itself, this looks absolutely gorgeous, 79, ready, are you ready, 3, 2, 1, Oh, very nice. That looks beautiful. So in here already, this is a leather strap here. As you can see, this is really gorgeous. Let me bring this down. This is a really thin leather strap. Absolutely gorgeous. I can tell it's probably a women's watch there because normally women's watches are a lot more thinner than a man's watch. A man's watch is a little bit more thicker, as you can see with this watch here. We can tell that it's got different straps. However, not always necessarily. Um, but in here, we've got a stopper. So could that mean that it's working? Oh, yes. And in here, we've got the 1940s um, United Kingdom POW, apparently. That looks absolutely gorgeous. It absolutely looks beautiful. So let's take a look. Um, it looks brand new. It doesn't look like it's been worn. Uh, my supplier will try and source used and more ones. So let's take that out like that. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go round to what the time is now, three o'clock. For me, looking at that, it looks like the face is dirty because it's so like got that yellow colour on it. I would feel like I have to wash it. <laughs> okay, so let's coming up to it's coming up to twenty five past three. Is it gonna work, baby? Oh Sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. It could be that it's been stopped for so long. Yeah, that's probably, unfortunately, although it's got a stopper, it looks like this battery has seized. Um, occasionally, sometimes they can be dislodged or they can be like, um, because they've been in there so long, it can seize up. I don't know why, but obviously, as you can see, we can give it one last go. Obviously, there was a stopper there, but unfortunately, if we get it a little bit of a harder push, yeah, that's proper gone. So unfortunately, this battery will need to be changed, which is unfortunate, but that is our watch. That is issue number 
uh, 79 of the Military Watches collection. We'll see you next Tuesday for another Military Watches video. But until then, please remember to like, share, subscribe. Remember, this collection is no longer available, but you can get it through places like eBay, Facebook groups, all sorts of selling platforms. And you might be lucky, you may be able to get one for yourself. But please remember to like, share, subscribe, tap the bell if you want to be notified of any further videos that I do for Military Watches. And I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Bye.